हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट चॉपिंग एंड वॉट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर to get the perfect chop so this is a grade 2 cataract a perfect case to demonstrate chop and looking at the parameters these are the three important ones one is a aspiration flow rate as you can see it is set at 40 and panel mode by panel what we mean is that once we go to position 2 it will reach the 40 flow rate second is the vacuum again set on panel mode 450 and third is the feco energy which is i'm going to use longitudinal for all chops and it's a linear mode that means it starts from 0 to 60 so depending on hardness of the cataract with my foot switch control i can deliver the required feco power so let's begin with the chopping here goes the feco tip in and i try to chop not a perfect one so why i am not getting a perfect chop is there any issue with the parameters now i go little deeper and with the same parameters i get a chop now i am at perfect depth here and you can see how the chops are becoming easier as i go at the adequate depth with my feco tip so you can see i can do very good chopping once i reach the proper depth inside the nucleus when i'm chopping while all the other parameters are remaining same so what is the most important parameter according to you now is it the flow rate or aspiration rate vacuum or the feco energy which is being delivered of course each has important role to play but as i would like to demonstrate here the most important parameter which is going to determine the success of chop is the depth achieved by the feco tip once you achieve the proper depth as i am demonstrating here you don't really need very high flow rate or even vacuum or even very sharp choppers what you just need is a right kind of depth at which feco tip goes and then you can chop the nucleus very very easily so remember next time when you are not getting the perfect chop the important thing which you are probably missing is going to the adequate depth so depth is the most important parameter to determine success of chopping so next you go into or just remember this in your mind and focus on achieving correct depth when you are doing chopping for many more videos do subscribe to my youtube channel and do go through various playlists that i have created thank you